Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. In today's video, I want to talk to you about mouth magic, magic with your mouth, and why it may not be a good idea. Coming up. Magic with your mouth. You know, a card to mouth, saw. Uh, I saw a Reddit uh, guy just do a thing where he puts a piece of paper in his mouth and he folds a crane in his mouth, opening up starbursts without your hands. Any kind of magic that, that requires your mouth, anything that goes in your mouth and then comes back out, French Kiss, Wayne Houchin, all of these tricks, uh, I think that it's probably a bad idea to do, especially right now. If you're gonna ever hand any of these things to or touch any of these things and then touch other things that your audience will handle, I don't think it's a good idea to do that. Anything that involves um, bodily fluids or blood, mucus, uh, stuff with your mouth, uh, it's just not sanitary, and it, it, it make a lot of un audiences uncomfortable. Especially now. I think this is a very topical video because we're talking about the coronavirus. Coronavirus began in China several months ago, and since then, the virus and fear of it have been spreading around the world. There are now 334 confirmed cases of coronavirus here in the U.S. Overnight, two more deaths were reported, this time in Florida. COVID-19. All of these uh, terms that, that, uh, that we use for this. Do I think it's personally, do I think this is, it's overblown? Yeah, I'm not a scientist, but the evidence points to it being uh, not that bad. Apparently there are things out there that you can catch a lot easier that can kill you a lot faster. So do we need to take it seriously? Yeah, but I think that there might be a little bit of an overblown reaction. Uh, we've seen it a lot in the events industry where I work as a professional magician, having a lot of problems with um, event cancellations. That being said, you don't want to be in a position where we're all worried about germs and everything right now, and then you're doing magic with your mouth or a you know, needle and arm with fake blood or saw where you put the thing and then pull it out. You want to avoid any kind of magic like that. It's probably a good idea in general, uh, just for sanitary reasons and for, for being polite but uh, even more so now with all these bugs going out and with everybody's concerns about germs. So as much as I think that mouth coils were really fun and really fun to do, and, and I used to use them as part of my magic coloring book trick that I would do for kids, um, as much as I love card to mouth where the card disappears and ends up in your teeth, uh, it's probably a good idea to reconsider those tricks right now uh, maybe ever, uh, you know, I, as a corporate magician, I try to be as clean and pleasant to be around as possible. Nobody wants to necessarily handle your spit or things that you were in your mouth. You know, you might as well have just you had some chewing gum that you spit in their hand. I mean, it's basically the same thing if you think about it. Maybe you just uh, get rid of some of those tricks unless uh, that's really your audience and they like that really grossed out geek kind of magic, then you're fine. Uh, but right now, especially, I think everybody's so sensitive to germs and the spread of them and COVID-19 and the flu season and all these things might be a better idea just to lay off of the mouth magic for now. Again, maybe forever. That's my two cents on uh, mouth magic and uh, keeping you guys safe and keeping your audiences safe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.